are continuing to battle PFOA, a dangerous chemical found in their water. Now people in Petersburg have another chemical to add to the list, PFOS. The Environmental Protection Agency says both chemicals were used in manufacturing and they've both been linked to health issues. Our Kimberly Howard joins us now. Kimberly, the situation has really been a crisis for several reasons in these towns, including for people trying to sell their homes. Yeah, that's right, Anne. And in this case, the woman that I spoke with said that she had plans to move from Hoosick Falls to Petersburg. Now, this was before she heard anything about PFOA or PFOS. Hi. Kathy Lingener lives in Hoosick Falls and has been trying to sell her home and move. I was working with a real estate agent and we had originally put the house on the market for $144,500. That was in April of last year. But after word seeped out that a dangerous chemical called PFOA had contaminated the municipal water supply, things changed. After the water was announced, we met again and he wrote another contract for 99000 Lingener and her husband took the hit and managed to find a buyer. The couple excited to possibly build new on a plot of land they've owned in Petersburg for more than 15 years. We were going to get a modular home and put it there and we we're in the process of that until we woke up this morning and heard about a secondary chemical that's also in the water. A chemical called PFOS which is commonly used in firefighting foams, coating additives, and cleaning products. The news really hit me hard when I heard it because we had plans. The EPA banned the chemical more than a decade ago because of concerns about health issues. Still, county health officials say PFOS popped up in water samples taken from four private wells in town. You know, every day I think I'm moving five steps forward and I'm going to get this stuff resolved. And then you just find out that you're going six feet backward. Lingener says she's been contacting the County Department of Health for three weeks now, trying to get her private well tested for PFOA. Now she's worried about this new chemical too, and if her plans will ever become a reality. I hope my property's clean. That's what I hope happens. But before I invest a lot of money in this, you know, I want to know. I don't want to go from one place that has this problem to another place. Now, I did speak with the County Department of Health this afternoon to get some answers for Lingener. They tell me that Lingener's Petersburg property is outside of the realm they're focusing on testing right now, about a mile and a half or so from Taconic Plastics. As far as the PFOS concerns, Taconic Plastics says they've never used that chemical, so the health department is trying to figure out where it could have come from. A spokesperson tells me they will retest the wells that tested positive for PFOS and continue to test more wells for both chemicals. You know, people who live in that area should continue to drink bottled water. And thank you, Kimberly. And for the latest on the PFOA crises in our local communities, go to CBS6Albany.com and click on the Water Crisis tab.